Thank you, Lord. Jesus name, Jesus name. Jesus name. Why don't we just begin to plug into the flow of the Holy Ghost? Why don't we just begin to get realigned with Him right now in Jesus name? We connect with your spirit tonight, Lord, that your will may be accomplished, that your will may be done. We plug into the flow of your spirit tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hikayando rojo siki ataramaha sheataye. Hikayando rojo siki ataramaha shikaye. Halalalobo koriando rojo siki ataye. Halalabo rioko torianda ramando lolobo koriando sietaye. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's the one we kotoro jose. Hikaya ramando lolobo kosiki ataye. We plug into your flow, O oh God. We plug into your flow, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. 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 Come on, you don't have to work it up. If you're connected to that flow, if you're connected to that spirit, his spirit will begin to flow. You won't have to work it up in the flesh. If you're connected to him, it will flow. If you're connected to his spirit, there will be a flow. In the name of Jesus Christ, we connect with you right now. I kalamando rokoto yelemo siyondo rokoto. We fix our eyes on you tonight. I koramando romo hoshi anda ramanda ye. I ando roko si anda ramando robo koshata ye. I ando roko si anda ye. I aramando roko si ataramahase. We allow you, O Lord, to do whatever you want to do in this place. In the name of Jesus, we set our expectation of faith high, Father. Why don't you just begin to build up your faith right now? You build up your faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. The word declares that you build up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So why don't we just begin to do some faith building right now. Why don't we just begin to stir it up right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we stir up that faith right now. Come on, if you're feeling weak spiritually or weak mentally, the Bible declares that you can build up your most holy faith. When you feel like your faith is drained, you can build it up in the name of Jesus. You can build it up by praying in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, you can be strengthened by praying. Praying in the spirit. Hakayanda Rahasokotoye. Hikaramando Rokosi and the Ramaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kiolo Bordo Kotoyanda Ramaha Shiandaye. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, that's it. Let's keep that flow. Hallelujah. 
yordo mondo lo 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 bo cordianda ye. He karama hasi ki yordo ho shata ye. He la mara kata ye. She andarama haka ye. In the name of Jesus. Why don't we just begin to pray in the spirit as a body right now? Why don't we just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost as a body? If you have the Holy Ghost, I challenge you just to begin to pray in the spirit right now. Because when we pray in the spirit, he's the one that's doing the work. He's the one that's speaking. He's the one that's loosing. He's the one that's binding. Hakayando rojo sataya, he colomordo cosotayanda ramaha. That's it. Would you just begin to connect with the spirit? He ka ramando lo 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 ko yanda ramaha. Ye yanda rama si ondo robo ko. He ka yando robo se elemo hosaye. We allow your spirit, O oh God, to float through us right now. He ka ramando lo bo si yanda ramaha kaye. Come on, the Spirit of God is coming against every opposition right now. Why don't you just begin to take up that authority right now that your Father's given you? Why don't you just begin to release and activate that authority? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there's authority in this place. There's authority that's flowing in this place. Come on, the Spirit of God is coming against some opposition right now. The Spirit of God is making intercession and coming against some things right now. In the name of Jesus, he sandaya. Somebody just begin to make up the heads right now. He Come on, would you just begin to stand in the gap? He Would you just begin to be that representative for the Lord in the spirit? He would you just begin to be the conduit for the spirit to move, for the spirit to flow? He Come on, in the name of Jesus. That's it. That's it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I feel that the Holy Ghost is leading us to do something right now. I felt strength and virtue flow when, when we began to pray in tongues just that few moments ago so I feel that just one more time let's let's just begin to we're gonna we're gonna pray again and we're gonna pray in the spirit because the spirit maketh intercession so I feel in this time right now why don't why don't we just be in all stand to our feet and before we move forward, I believe we're going to pray in the Spirit. Before we do that, why don't we just begin to take a time of repentance before we move deeper and move forward. If 
if you know how to repent, you can do that. But if if you're not really sure what the the term repentance, it is a turning away from our sins. It is a turning away from the wrong decisions we've made, the wrong thoughts, the wrong words we've spoken. It's basically turning away from the sin and turning back to God. So right now, in this time, why don't we just begin to do that as a body? Why don't you just begin to allow the Holy Ghost to search your heart? Father, if there be any sin in me, if there be any wicked way in me, if there be any iniquity, I repent of it, O God. I repent of every wrong thought, O Lord, every wrong word spoken, every wrong action, O Lord. Even the things that I should have done, but I didn't do them. I repent of that right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I allow you to wash me. I allow you to cleanse me. I believe the Holy Ghost is dealing with some of you right now. God, I repent of the evil ways. I'm not just going to confess them, Lord, but I'm going to turn away from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And now, Father, we receive your forgiveness. If you've really meant it, if you've confessed it, God has forgiven you. So why don't we just begin to thank the Lord right now? Why don't we just begin to thank Him for His forgiveness right now? In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Why don't we just begin to clap our hands to the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you may be thinking the repentance time was short. But God, I am convinced, is the quickest forgiver. That all you have to do is confess. You don't have to beg for him to forgive you. You don't have to... You don't have to earn forgiveness. He he freely is giving it, and he already earned it on the cross, so you don't have to earn it for him. He already did it. So I believe God is giving that revelation to some of you because some of you may try to beg for God's forgiveness, but God is saying right now he has already forgiven you that the moment you confessed it, he already cleansed it, he already washed it, and you don't have to earn or beg for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Right now, I feel strongly, and we're just going to see how this flows. We're, we're just going to flow with the Spirit of God. We're just going to flow with the Spirit. If you have the Holy Ghost, I wonder right now if we could just bind together with God's authority, and if we could just pray in the Spirit. If you if you've, haven't been used to that, I believe the Holy Ghost is going to condition you to be able to flow with the Spirit more freely tonight. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, why don't we just begin to lift up our hands, lift up our voices. And would you just begin to pray in the Spirit? Would you just begin to speak with other tongues right now? God is releasing something. We're all over this place right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you begin to pray in tongues, you're going to feel a new kind of authority come upon you. When you begin to pray in the Spirit, it's going to feel like a warrior inside of you. And the reason behind that is because there is a warrior inside of you. It's the Lord of hosts that's never lost a battle. So why don't you just begin to pray with this? authority right now in the name of Jesus Christ come on it's not going to be in English but it's in the spirit the spirit of God is giving utterance the spirit of God is giving utterance come on some of you you've been dealing with some stuff you've been going through some spiritual battles. The Holy Ghost is releasing you in victory. The Holy Ghost is releasing you in deliverance.
deliverance. Grab a hold of that victory. Grab a hold of that dominion. Grab a hold of it. That's it in the name of Jesus. Why don't you just begin to lift up your voice in victory right now? Not in defeat. Not in a defeated mindset. But in a perspective of victory. Why don't you just begin to lift up your voice? Why don't you just begin to yield that sword? Why don't you just begin to wield that sword in the spirit and start swinging it? He called that's it pick up that sword of the spirit and start wielding it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ Come on, some of you right now, the Holy Ghost is speaking to you right now in this moment. And he's saying, all I want you to do is just pick up that sword and start using it. Start using the rhema that I've given you. Start using the tool that I've given you. Start using the authority that I've given you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why don't we just begin to lift up a shout of praise and worship unto the Lord right now. Why don't we just begin to let out a shout of victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Can we just begin to lift up the loudest shout of praise right now? If you have a shout in you, let it be a shout out of you right now. Let it be a shout released. Hallelujah. That's it. Let out that shout of victory. Let out that shout of victory. Let the light of Judah inside of you begin to roar within. Come on, you're a royal priesthood. You're a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. He called Robo Sandalamahaya. Come on, I feel we need to just continue flowing in this right now. If you have a voice of victory, come on, the Lion of Judah is inside of you. He He has all authority. He has all dominion. He has all power. Why don't you just begin to let that lion roar? Why don't you just begin to let the King of Kings begin to speak through you, begin to pray through you? God is giving new authority. God is giving new dominion. God is giving new authority. I'm going to ask you just in this time, I feel very strongly right now the Holy Ghost speaking to me, saying he is creating warriors right now. Ha. It's like you showed me in a vision. In the spirit, there was like an armory. There were people gearing up for battle, people being trained. I believe God's equipping some warriors tonight. So if you want to be one of those warriors, the Holy Ghost all is asking you to do is just come to the front. If you just want to be one of those warriors, 
If you want to be one of those warriors, just begin to come to the front. Mm. There are different kind of tongues that we as the people of God will flow through. One of those tongues is warfare intercession. It's yielding to God's authority. And when you begin to pray in that tongue, it will feel like there's the best way the Holy Ghost is saying to me, it feels like there's a warrior within you. Something just leaping out and that's not willing to just let things remain the way that they are and just let it pass them by. But they're taking dominion. They're taking authority. They're taking victory. They're taking dominion. That's what the Lord wants to do through every single one of us right now. And he is going to empower you to be a warrior tonight. So you're going to feel that authority. It's going to sound like you're going to war. It's going to sound like you're fighting in the spirit. But the Holy Ghost is the warrior within you that's doing the fighting. So right now, I feel it right now flowing and building up. So if you would just yield to that spirit of warfare, yield to God's authority. We're going to pray a prayer of authority. And God is going to transform some of you tonight into elite warriors in the spirit that take dominion over certain things in this city, that take dominion over certain things in your family, in your area, in your neighborhood. So right now in the name of Jesus, why don't we just begin to pray in that authoritative tongue? Why don't we just begin to pray with that authority? Authority. He and the Rabo Kona. That's it in the name of Jesus. Ni and the Robo Kona Rabaha. Why don't you just begin to take authority? Just begin to take dominion. He Lord of Kona Laba Sanda Raba Kaya. He and the Sanda Laba. If you're not sure how to flow with it, just begin to pray in tongues and you'll feel that authority beginning to move. He Nai Yanamo Sanda Ye Yananana Ye Robo Rana Yarama Kaye. That's it in the name of Jesus. That's it in the name of Jesus. Why don't you just begin to push back? That's it. Yield to that authority. Yield to that authority. Yield to that authority. Yield to that authority. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, He Come on, something's breaking right now. Something's breaking. Why don't we just begin to stay in this flow? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mara Kataya Robo Sandalaba. He alabordo Kataya Labordi on the Lolobo Koye. He alabordo Koya Labordo Kataye. Come on, God's doing it. God's doing it. God's doing it in your family right now. Kiorobo say, if you're watching online and you're participating in this, God is using you. He anama katayando robo sa. He anama katabo ho sataraba. Halamando robo se ele bordo kota. Would you shout unto God with the voice of victory right now? Would you shout unto God with the voice of victory? Because he's given it in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, why don't we just begin to rejoice right now? Why don't we just begin to thank the Lord for what he has accomplished? Just begin to lift up him. Just begin to lift up his name. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Father. We glorify you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody rejoice right now in the Lord. Would you just rejoice in Jesus' name? Come on, would you rejoice from the heart? Would you thank him? Would you bless the name of Jesus? 
We release our faith, God. We believe in you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to be flowing in the Holy Ghost this evening. Amen. There will be times that God is going to prompt us that we're going to pray. We're going to pray with authority. Amen. How many believe your prayers are heard? And that not, there's no prayer that's not heard. Amen. When, especially when you position yourself to, through repentance, God hears your prayers. So one more time, would you just lift up your hands and would you just believe that God, the God that you serve, Jesus Christ, hears your prayers and he has ordained you as the body of Christ here in this local area. To be the authority. He said, behold, I give you authority over all the power, the ability of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. We believe that, Father. And we receive that authority right now. And we're going to flow with it tonight. Lord, the times of prayer, the times of teaching. We're going to follow your leading. This is your service, O oh God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You can you be seated if you want. I want to ask you to pray for those that are watching online. Uh, many are sick tonight. Amen. Some are out of town. But I'm glad that you are here at the Lighthouse in Jesus' name. Amen. And tonight is Wednesday night. And it's time for training. It's where we get equipped to be laborers. Amen. How many believe there are things that we need to do as being part of the body of Christ? There are things that, that you, can, you alone can do as part of the body of Christ. And so we want to be equipped as God calls us to labor. Last Tuesday, we had such a great time at the Mission Viejo Connect group. And I want you to pray for those that are uh, going to that Connect group. Primarily, they're Filipinos. Uh, by culture and language, and we had such a powerful time. Uh, if you would pray for Luz, right? Luz was there, and she's filled with the Holy Ghost, I think, last week or so. Uh, that refilled. She hasn't spoken in tongues for a long, long, long time. And when they had that connect group, God, or, or discipleship class, rather, uh, God just refilled her in Jesus' name. So keep her in prayer. Uh, Benji as well, that was very faithful uh, in that connect group. Uh, also pray for a man named Jong, J-O-N-G, or maybe it's J-U-N-G, but nevertheless it's pronounced as Jong. We saw him in the uh, Sunday over at Asia Buffet, very spiritual place, amen. And so it's spiritual because we stumbled across him, we got to talk, and we told him about the connect group. But, but pray for him, Gerald as well. And there was a new young gentleman there. Uh, his name is Julian. And so keep, him, keep them in prayer. In fact, why don't we pray right now for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, would you pray right now that God, uh, would you exercise your authority? Lord, whatever hinders them, God, from being saved. Lord, whatever hinders in their mind. Uh, Whatever tradition they have embraced, O oh Lord, uh, as the church, God, as the authority in this area. We bind those resistances. We bind every excuse, O oh God, uh, Lord, that prohibits them from coming to your house uh, and receiving, O oh Lord, full revelation of the truth. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I plead your blood upon them. Uh, would you just pray in tongues right now as you exercise uh, the authority of the Lord? Uh, come on, would you pray in tongues right now? Uh, just exercise the authority of the Lord. Uh, you don't have to understand what you're saying in tongues, uh, but God is praying through his body, the governing body, the church. Robo Robo Sanike. Ipandate Kando Koshata. 
Shamahai. Speak with new tongues. Enunciate it like you're speaking a language. Ika namokotole. Imanda roto si tanamahaya nate. Ikanda ranamokotoye. Imanda ranamokotori atalabaye. We push against the darkness. We bind blindness, O oh God, and we release the revelation of the glorious gospel, the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, somebody believe your prayers right now. Your parents are going to be saved. Your sons, your daughters, your friends, your loved ones, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. Praise God. How many of you felt that in Jesus' name? You felt that prayer, this power in prayer. In fact, the Bible says that his house will be called a house of prayer. And we're endeavoring to live up to that. Uh, there will be praise. There will be singing. But it should be known as a house of prayer, not a house of praise. Amen? Praise God. Pre in prayer also, July 28th, the last Friday, uh, the College and Career Connect group will be meeting in our house. And this is geared for younger, the younger generation, uh, the college and career group. And Anthony, good to see you. You're invited to that. That's 7 p.m. And uh, dinner will be served. Amen. Just like at Brother Paul's. And I think the guy that's going to cook, he, he, this people see, said they're pretty, he's pretty good. So, so bring a good appetite in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we flow in the Holy Ghost tonight. Um, the Lord dropped this into my spirit, in fact, just before service. The law of hunger and being thirsty. It's getting hotter, right? How many of you are thirsty because, you know, you get dehydrated, right? If you get to the point where you're really thirsty, you don't really care or it really doesn't matter if it's water, soda, uh, juice, or if you get desperate enough where you're on the verge of dying, you'll probably drink, you know, contaminated water, like in a puddle on the ground. And, and Jesus said in Matthew 5, verse 1 to 2, and, and he says, and seeing the multitude. So notice the Lord was teaching this not to disciples, not to his apostles, the, the disciples who went to become apostles, not to the leaders. But he went up to a mountain. So the, this is part of the Beatitudes. Uh, and so he went up to the mountain and, and the multitudes were, were beginning to follow him. And, and he went up into a mountain, the Bible says. I mean, being up to a mountain, it, it requires some effort, right? It, it's, it, you know, it's, not, it's not downhill, it, it's uphill. And if you're carrying a backpack or a jug of water or whatever, it becomes heavier as time progresses. And, and to hear this, these people had to exert some effort to go up with the Lord to a mountain. Now, there are times he's, he taught by the seashore. And all that the people needed to do is show up. They got fed bread and fish. I don't know about that. Usually we eat rice and fish. Uh, I guess fish sandwich, which probably some of you do. But <clears throat> to me, that's a strange combination. But when he was set, so he climbed, there was an effort. He began to set the stage, if you would, or prepare the people. His disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying. Now, Wednesday nights... We are endeavoring to train you to be taught. And, and as you become taught, you open your mouth. Amen? In fact, that is how you exercise your authority. The Bible says that all of God's creation is tamed by the tongue. If you have a pet, if you've trained them, sit, roll over, right? Play dead, jump, heal, whatever it is. Maybe a dog, a cat. Man, that's, you tell that to the cat, you so eat, they tell you, you know what, I'll do that when I want to. Amen. They got some attitude. Praise God. 
But it's important that you speak. Amen. It's important that you pray. That's why the Bible says, shout unto the Lord. That's why the Bible says, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Would you just open your mouth right now, whatever God is giving you, and do not be intimidated. Don't feel like it's awkward. God begins to give you thoughts. You speak it. In fact, it is part of having faith. We believe, therefore we speak. You speak what you believe. You speak, you activate things, your authority by speaking in the name of Jesus Christ. And only mankind can articulate through language what they feel on the inside. All, everything that's alive, the Bible says, in fact, has a certain sound. And even those that are inanimate objects have a certain sound, like, like a cymbal has a certain sound. The drums has a certain sound. The birds the whales, and, and so forth. And so he taught them by saying. And we teach people by witnessing to them, and we speak. Amen? I pray that you will never be timid and not be afraid to speak up. Amen? When injustice is being said, when the political correctness and the, the confusion that's in our world today, we speak up. Amen? It's interesting. We, we bought an adapter for the projector that we're going to install tonight. By the way, able-bodied men, we need you tonight to, to get the ladder and prop it up here. And maybe women as well. Amen. <laughs> if we don't have enough men. But we, we bought an adapter. And, and it's so politically correct because, you know, because... There's nine pins that are that's male and then a female. You know what I'm talking about. That you, 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 uh, you put an adapter, and and instead of saying adapter, it says gender changer. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me! I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I'm not gonna call it gender changer. It's an adapter, amen. Because it doesn't have a gender. Praise God, <laughs> amen. So speak up. Amen? And this is what the Lord said, among many things that he taught. He said, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall. This is a result. This is the result. It is a result that will flow. It's not a maybe. It shall. They shall be filled. How many of you have been filled? Filled with the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Doesn't your day go by when you're filled with the Holy Ghost? When you're filled with peace? You're, when you're filled with purpose? Amen. When you're filled, there's contentment. There's satisfaction. We went out to Outback Steakhouse. When was that? Monday, I think. And we were filled. Somebody gave us a gift card. And all I had to pay, in addition, was 23 bucks for four of us. Man, that's a deal. Praise God. And we were filled. When you're full, when you're filled, there's satisfaction. Right? There's rest. There's like, ah. It's like a smile in your face. I've never seen anybody eat a good steak and have a frown after. Amen? Especially after there's baked potato and all the works. And, and lo notice this, that he said you're blessed. The word blessed comes from the Greek word. And I can't pronounce it there. If you can read it, let me know. It says, pertaining to be happy with the implication of enjoying favorable circumstances. Happy. Enjoying favorable circumstances. How many want your circumstances to be favorable? Amen. It, it may not be exactly how you want it. Even if it's a hard circumstance, but you realize it's working for my favor. Yes. Kind of like getting a surgery, right? And, and, and you know that the process might be painful and there might be recovery time, but the end result is favorable. It's better health. Does that make sense? 
blessed pertaining to being happy with the implication of being of, of enjoying favorable circumstances. I believe God favors his church. I believe he favors you, his body. That when God looks at you in your conscious moment, remind yourself, God favors you. You're his favorite. Amen? Could you tell that to yourself right now? I'm God's favorite. I'm the apple of his eye. I'm the bride of Christ. I'm a child of God. I'm born again of the water and of the spirit. I'm covered by his righteousness. Amen. He has called me to come out from among them and be separate to the Lord. I have a favorable life. When this life is over, I'm favored to be going to heaven. I'm blessed. Somebody shout, I'm blessed. And this blessedness comes by being hungry, being thirsty. And we've got to continually push to be hungry and thirsty. Because your flesh gets tired of pushing. Amen? Your, tire, your flesh gets tired of, you know, of praying. Of, of, when you pray, you're pushing against resistance. That's why most people at the beginning of the year when they have New Year's resolution, they're going to go to the gym. And by the end of the first quarter, the gym, not by the gym, but the gym has all raked all this money because people stop going. Right? And, and so now, why? Because they're not hungry anymore. It's hard to push and keep pushing. That's why you get to be renewed of the, in the Holy Ghost. And, and to reaffirm your position in God that you're favorable. And you're his favorite, and you want to please him. So blessed, the word hunger, figuratively, the extension of meaning of this other Greek word, which is actually thirst and hunger, the same Greek word. It uses the same Greek word. It means to have a strong desire to attain some goal. You're hungry. How many of you are hungry to see God use you might? How many of you are hungry to have results from outreach, Brother Paul? How many of you are hungry to see some results in the connect groups, in the Bible studies you're teaching, in the friends that you're inviting, the people that you've been praying for? Are you praying for somebody? If God answers all our prayers that we prayed today, would there be somebody that would be saved as a result of prayers prayed today? Would there be somebody that would be restored Somebody that would be encouraged. Somebody that was about to backslide in the midst of flailing that God would snatch them out of that predicament because of your prayers. Hallelujah. Would you pray that right now? I feel the Holy Ghost in this house. I feel anointing here. Would you begin to exercise your authority one more time? Perhaps you know a brother or a sister that's weak. Amen. Would you begin to pray for them? Amen. Through this hunger, the hunger that you have for the things of God, a strong desire to attain some goal in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name, don't stop praying for them. I know it might get tiring sometimes to push against the resistance, but don't stop. Be renewed in the Holy Ghost. Let the love of God renew you. Stand in the gap again for them and pray and believe God is going to do something favorable for them also. Somebody clap your hands to him. <laughs> Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. With the implication of an existing lack. Right? That's how you get, that's how you remain hungry. Because if you're full, full people are picky in what they eat. Right? We have a full cap in our house. He's very picky. And, but my, my wife loves him so much uh, that I said, you know, let's have this animal fast for a day. Let's see how picky he gets. Because if you're starving, if you're lacking something, you're going to remain hungry. 
And, and, and the Bible actually teaches that principle that you are content, but you're still hungry for more. You've seen the works of God in your life, but you know there's more. You, you know, I'm really, I really believe this, that we have not really entered into the type of prayer that, that does great things for God and great things through us. We haven't reached that, that peak of prayer yet or, or even scratched the surface. The Bible says He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that works in you. How many of you believe that? He could do exceedingly. He can do abundantly. And I know we're in the midst of people that pray and know what, how to pray and want to pray. But I want to encourage you uh, that you haven't dived deep enough yet to the depths of prayer where the Bible says he can do exceeding. He can do abundantly. Above all that you ask, and we ask usually in prayer. Above all that you can think or imagine, God could supersede it. Would you just begin to imagine right now the things of God uh, and what he wants to do through you in Jesus' name? Uh, would you just begin to do that? Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, I believe, God, every time I pray, and I got to push, Lord, and you got to remain hungry, oh God. Lord, I could be content, but still desire for more. To desire strongly, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My wife testifies, testified that she made a decision to pray every day. And it has changed her life. Let me want to make that commitment tonight. And I'm not talking about length of time, but just start with saying, I'm going to pray every day. Every day. And, and, and perhaps if I forget I'm already in bed, I'm going to roll off the bed and bend my knee and talk to my father and thank him for the good things that have happened through that day. I'm going to pray and I'm going to talk to him every day and I'm going to remain hungry for him. Happy are those who desire intensely to do what God requires or to see right prevail. And it's reinforced, the word hunger is reinforced uh, uh, with the, the, the meaning of the word great desire to hunger in Jesus' name. Then it says thirst, and thirst is the same Greek word as hunger. But figuratively, to desire passionately a spiritual good without which one cannot live. Are there things you cannot live without? Could you imagine yourself not being able to come to the house of God and worship? Could you imagine how that, that life was, that life is way back in the rear view mirror, right? For most of us. And we can't imagine life not coming together and worshiping God. You know, some people that don't uh, yet or have not yet tasted the, 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 the satisfaction, the glory of the presence of God. We're coming together. Uh, they can't really understand that. And they'll ask you, why do you go to church so much? You know, it's like saying, why, why do you want to get satisfied so much? <laughs> why do you want to be happy so much? Amen. Why do you want to be content so much? Why do you want to be joyful so much? Why do you want to have so much revelation and meaning in life? Amen. Nobody asks that, right? But unless you dive into it and experience it for yourself, then you begin to say, you know what? I desire passionately something spiritually good without which I cannot live without it. I can't live without God. Would you pray for your brothers and sisters that are yet to make that trip? In Jesus' name. I don't really understand, quite understand why others could just readily sell coming out, coming together. Sell that out to someone or something to readily surrender. Amen. The house of worship, the house of prayer, the house of praise. Father, Lord, it's only by your grace that we are able to do this, God. So we pray for those 
that lack, oh Lord, this desire, that lack, oh God, this strength, that they could receive it, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This desire, oh Lord, this passionate desire for spiritual good, this desire for salvation. There's no greater desire than to be saved. Amen. At the end of life, you would be very, very glad that you had the desire given by God to be saved. And once that settles into your spirit, then it bleeds out of you, and now you want others to be saved. Amen. Does it, does it bother you? Does it make your spirit uneasy? Or there's something that, that the Spirit of God is wanting you to do, especially pray when you see a brother and sister that's in danger of not being saved? Does it affect you? What do you do? You pray. You cast that care. You know, when it begins to bother your emotions, you say, Father, I cast this to you, Lord. Not that you want, not that you don't want to feel anything, but you're casting in the midst of casting. God is doing something. I cast my cares upon you, God. The only, only you can do something, Lord. Only you can reach. Only you can save. Your arm is not short, the Bible says, that it cannot reach. Neither is ear dull that it cannot hear. Hear, oh God, the cries of your people. Hear our prayers, Lord, and reach, O oh God, with your strong arm in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus told the woman at the well, if you drink from this water that I shall give you, you shall never thirst again. And this, not to thirst anymore in the last portion of the paragraph, mean, indicates the satisfaction of longing and therefore perfect Felicity. What is that word? Joy. Happiness. Felicity. Right? As a gift of Christ. Praise God. You know, everything that we have, everything that we attain, both physical and internal and spiritual, it's a gift from God. Isn't that what the Bible says? Every good gift, every perfect gift come from heaven above, comes from the Father of lights in whom is no valuableness, neither shadow of turning. Everything that we have, it's because we have a good Father. And He loves to give gifts. Daily He loads us down with blessings, the Bible says. Praise God. Praise God. And then it says, blessed are the hunger it says, after Righteousness. We talked about righteousness last Sunday, I believe, or maybe two Sundays ago. Righteousness, the act of doing what God requires. And then it transcends from a requirement to an act of pleasing the one that you love. Amen? Why do we change? Don't we change because we want to please those that we love? To please those that matter to us, right? And really without someone to love and someone to love you back, life is, is not as meaningful, right? Could you imagine being alone? <clears throat> I'm not talking about physically alone, but alone inside. That's why hell is hell because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's eternal separation from the presence of God. And could you imagine those who have once tasted of the glory that's to come, and if they don't make it to heaven eternally, they will remember all the times that they were in church and could have been saved. That's mental agony where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth, the Bible says. And the good news is when you get to heaven, the Bible says he'll wipe away all tears from your eyes. There's no remembrance of your sufferings. There's no remembrance of those that did not make it. Your bodies will be changed. Your, your inner man. And now you're fully in tune with the things of God. You'll have a body, a glorified body that cannot sin. Can you imagine? 
You know, the, the, the peace that we have with, with when God's power allows us to be righteous and there's no sin. Could you imagine just now your physical body has been changed? Uh, you, could you imagine the multiplicity of, of that peace and righteousness that you'll feel? You'll be a walking heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, your situation is heaven. You are heaven because you live and breathe in him. Praise God. Praise God. Let's worship the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for giving us revelation tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Righteousness, doing what God requires, doing what is right. Righteous. Amen. And then we talk about filth. The result is satisfaction. It means to feed. It means to fatten. That's why the Bible says the fat belongeth unto the Lord. Now, it's talking about the animal sacrifice. Okay? You don't get carried away. You're going to eat a lot. Because the Bible says the fat belongeth unto the Lord. No, that's not what it meant. It's talking about the Old Testament uh, sacrifice where they would they would uh, sacrifice meat offering. In, in fact, the the evil sons of of Eli, Hophni and Phineas, would get the choicest meats before it's sacrificed. And usually, uh, and you've been you've been to a steakhouse, right? The, the prime rib that has that that layer of fat. You know why it makes it taste so good? Because there's fat. And and the higher and the, the price of the meat is, you know, they got the veal. You know, they got the wagyu, right? They got all kinds of things. They got cattle that they massage, just corn fed. Why? Because there's that tenderness and there's nothing better than having fat with the meat. So you're fed with the meat of the word of God. And then the fat as well. Praise God. It means to feel, to satisfy. Feel. Amen. That's why the Bible says be full of the Holy Ghost. When you're full of the Holy Ghost, there's no more room for anything else. Amen. You know, you begin to walk in the Spirit. You're not fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Why? Because the, the Holy Ghost is, is just flowing through you and you're just being filled over and over again. You're satisfied. That's why you stop doing drugs. You stop doing all kinds of things because you're feeding on certain things uh, that is not temporary. It's eternal in Jesus' name. Praise God. Filled. Amen. Which brings us to our lesson tonight. which I think I'm not going to teach. I don't feel a release to teach it. Amen. And maybe um, next week or whenever. But this was what I was planning to teach. And, and I don't really feel a release to teach it. I could force it just because we have time, but I, I don't want to do that. You know, I just don't want to do that. So I think what we need to do is we need to be filled. Would you stand? I believe more than singing, preaching, we need to flow in the Holy Ghost. All the teachings you've heard all your life, it's time to explore them. All the teachings and all the preparation that has been given to you and you've been exposed to great services, anointed teachers and preachers. It's time that God, as you pray, God is going to remind you of the things, principles that he wants you to explore so the end result, you can be filled. Every day, striving to be filled. Hallelujah. Would you pray right now in Jesus' name? Oh, I want to be filled, oh God. 
Choose you men full of the Holy Ghost that we might appoint over this task, the apostles said. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to fasting and the study of the word. God did not call you to give your energy to a corporate world. God did not call you to give all of your time to the secular job. God has called you to be his sons, his daughters, to begin to exercise your authority to experience fullness, to experience satisfaction, at the same time remaining hungry in Jesus' name. He kandara la la bokotori anda yanasaye. He mandara no kotori ande ketele anasaye. Yo rianda la mo yo roto saye kanayo. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He kayara la bakata la mahai. Lord, thank you for your word tonight. Thank you for teaching us, O oh God. Lord, that we may be filled. That we may be filled, O God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you go deeper in prayer where God could do exceeding, where God could do abundantly, where God, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, oh, could do above all that you ask, could do above all that you think, according to the Holy Ghost that has filled you, according to the power that works in you, his spirit. His grace. He kandara namo kotorie. He kandara namo kotori anda labaye. He endara bosa. He endere lele bosa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He andara la la bo kotori anda labasaye. He kandala la la bo tori anda labasaye. If you're carrying anything, would you cast it to the Lord? If you need to cast your cares, would you give that to God right now? In the name of Jesus, live through me, Father. Live through me, Father. Exercise your authority through me. Let me speak your words and not my own. Come on, would you pray like never before? Would you touch the throne room for others in Jesus' name? Lord, we come against blindness, O oh God. Lord, we lose your will in the name of Jesus. We lose your will here, O oh God. Let your will be done as it is already in heaven. Lord, things that are bound, that's already bound in heaven. Blessings and revelation that are loose, that's already loosed in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst. After righteousness they shall be filled. Blessed are those in the name of Jesus that remain hungry, remain thirsty. They shall be satisfied. Yori anda yana kitele kanda satalai. Yori anda la mo yo soyo. He anda rele kendi bosa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I lose revelation in this area, O oh God. I lose your divine revelation upon all South Orange County. And when it park, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, he kandara namakatalamahai.
Somebody begin to pray for those that are sick right now. In Jesus' name, if you know somebody that is sick, would you begin to bind sickness off of their body? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind sickness off of them, O oh God. Lord, I bind discouragement off of them, O oh Lord. I lose strength. I lose healing. I lose the certainty of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe your word, O oh Lord. I believe the visions that you've given your people, O oh God. I believe the dreams that you've given different people, God, a part of the body, O oh Lord. We claim it right now. We pray it right now. The fulfillment of those dreams, the fulfillment of those visions, O oh God. He came. In the name of Jesus Christ, I loose it, O oh Lord. Send us, O oh God. Send us, O oh Lord. Send us, Father, in Jesus' name. Send us, Lord. Here we are, God. Send us. Lord, we be laborers for you. That we become your laborers, O oh God. Lord, that we remain hungry and thirsty for the things of God. That we guard this glorious gospel, O oh Lord. That we guard against anything, O oh God, that entices us, O oh Lord, to sell the birthright. We stand in the gap for others. We stand in the gap for those, O oh God, that are being tested, O oh Lord, that they would pass the test. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Iara la boko tori andele kendere lele lebo saye. I bandara na mo tara na ya na le ketene ma ya na ya la basata la ma ye. Yo ri kana yo rosi kene. In the name of Jesus, come on, would you push right now in Jesus' name? Lord, for souls to be saved, for the increase of the body, the edification of itself in love, O oh God, maketh increase in the body as every joint, every member supplies, O oh Lord, contributes, O oh God, in their gifting, in their calling, O oh Lord, what you have called us to be, O oh God, individually and collectively as the body, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Iara la boko tori andele ke te se. Iandar anda la boko tori andele ke te se. I kanaha. I manda katalamaha. Yo rikende kanda shanda la baha. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, that's right, there's a flow of the Spirit. There's a flow of the Spirit. Tap into it. Tap into it. There's answers there. There's miracles there in that flow. We hunger. We thirst, oh God, for you. We hunger. We thirst for revival, oh God. We hunger for souls to be saved. We thirst for you, oh God, to use us, oh Lord, to disciple them. I bind, O oh Lord, hindrances that do not allow people to come back. I come against the blindness and the resistance in the name of Jesus Christ. I kanda rabo kotoye. I kanda rala labo tori anda labaka sata labaye. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, you planted us here. You promised revival, oh God. You promise an increase of souls, oh Lord, we believe it. We claim it, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we remain hungry, God. We remain thirsty, and we shall be filled. This house will be full. Somebody believe that with me right now. Your friends are coming. Your family's coming. Your co-workers are going to be saved. This house will be full. Jesus said, go into the highways and the byways and compel them to come that my house might be full. We're not satisfied, oh Lord. We're content, oh God, but we're not satisfied. We know, Lord, we have not scratched the surface of the power of prayer. You can do exceeding, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that is working in us even right now. It's working in you even right now. It's flowing through you even right now. In the name of Jesus, would you begin to dispatch angels by the authority of the word of God? Would you begin to pray right now? They're ministering spirits for us, the heirs of salvation. Father, in Jesus' name, according to your will, O oh God, we release angelic hosts from this place to go, O oh Lord, to where the people are. To go, O oh Lord, to where the people you're reaching and dealing with, O oh Lord. God, a dream, a visitation that they will have that will jolt them out of their sleep, O oh Lord. God, that would draw them to an altar of repentance in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I also release angels, Lord, that protect your people. In the name of Jesus, I lose warring angels, oh God, to war for those that are being tried and tested. And those that are weak, oh God, and those that are weakened because of the hardships of life. I lose your angelic host. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I can you sense it in your spirit? Can you sense it in your spirit? Angelic hosts emanating from this place, flowing out of this place to where God is sending them to houses, to people, to families in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as you send an angel to Cornelius' house, oh God. Even as you send an angel to free Peter from prison, oh Lord. Send those angels, Father. Thank you for sending those angels, Father. Thank you for sending them, God. Let them go, oh Lord, and let them remain until your will is accomplished in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
There's no hindrance that's greater than you, O God. There's nobody greater than you, O Lord, who can stand against you. If God be for you and I, if God be for us, who can be against us? He The will of God is going to be accomplished. The will of the Lord is going to be done. In the name of Jesus, he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He does not take joy in the death of a sinner, but there's joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I lose Benji, O oh God, for John, O oh Lord, uh, for Gerald, O oh God, uh, for Luce, O oh Lord, for Julian, O oh God, uh, the David family, O oh Lokanda, Every backslider, Father, every visitor that had gone through the door, so oh God, uh, everyone who has heard the gospel, uh, Lord, your people, O oh God. Uh, I release supernatural strength upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose supernatural strength upon your people, strengthen their bodies, strengthen their mind, strengthen their emotions, clarity of thinking, clarity of the mind, strengthen the inner man in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, and even if we're hurting, we're still going to minister. Lord, even if we're in a challenging situation, we're still going to serve. In Jesus' name that we may endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. For he that warreth entangleth not himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has called him to be a soldier, that we may please you, Father, because we love you and you first love us. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, Would you flow into refreshing tongues right now and just soak in the peace of God and the strength of the Lord, the encouragement of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, good God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Would you find somebody right now? God leads you. Would you just speak faith to one another? In the name of Jesus, I believe as you do that, God is going to activate things that has already been activated, that it's going to gain momentum. It's going to gain momentum in the Holy Ghost, and you're going to see it. You're going to feel it, and you'll be filled. You will be satisfied in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ikayara la bakata la mahaya na kasata. Iyara na mokoto rianda la bakasata la mahaya na kasata la bahay. Iyanda na mokoto sata la mahaya na sata. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ye kandara la la bokotori tele anati setele. Thank you, great God. Thank you, loving Savior. Thank you for giving us favor. Thank you for that we are your favorites, O oh Lord. We are blessed, God. Lord, as we hunger and thirst after your righteousness. 
And the end result is satisfaction. The end result is being filled. The end result is being full of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you for revival, O oh Lord. Thank you for souls that are being saved, O oh God. Thank you for a house full of people, laborers, O oh Lord, disciples, O oh God. And preparing us, Lord, for the greatest revival that's going to happen on the earth. When you fulfill your promise to Abraham, O oh God, that every family, every nation will be blessed, God, with the blessing of Abraham, which is receiving the Spirit by faith. In the name of Jesus, that your Spirit that's within us will flow into us and out of us to others as they will be blessed, O oh God, and they will see our good works through you and you will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. Praise God. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Amen. Let's thank him one more time. Thank you, Lord. What you've done tonight. We take this victory with us. We take this joy with us. We continue to be hungry and to, thir and to thirst for more of you. More of the things of God. And to see revival in South Orange County. Hallelujah. We're going to have revival in South Orange County. Thank you, Lord. Somebody shout in in Jesus' name. Yay! Anamosa, yay! Yay! Anamosa, yay! Thank you, Lord. I believe it, Father. I speak it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Continue to pray if you want in Jesus' name. Praise God. I'm going to lay down this mic. If God's still flowing through you, keep flowing in the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name.